service coming from the other one. He's got a, it uh, looks like a broken fibula. Um, That's pretty, one of the worst injuries, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's uh, not good. Um, we'll have to get scans, but he's um, he's done that before, and he's, um, yeah, him and the doctor are pretty sure it's the same thing. Better status is seen. Oh, yeah, if that's the injury, it will be, yeah. Given the margin in the end, was it dropped past by Vidot? Did you sort of see it as a turning point or, or not? No, obviously it was a turning point, yeah. Um, you know, some of our efforts of um, some of our outside backs cleaning up kicks and obviously the, the handling of, you know, that just put us on the back foot, you know, a couple of soft tries before half time from you know, not cleaning up kicks and and then obviously that would have got us back to within six. Um, you know, just can't beat, you know, uh, teams uh, that are heading over that type of possession. Did it feel like the momentum was shifting, or both of you, did it feel like the momentum was shifting at a stage leading up to Daniel Derrick? Oh, yeah, obviously. I thought we'd gone back out and defensively got ourselves back into the game and off the back of that. Um, uh, we were we were in in field position and starting to build some pressure and would have got us back in within one play of the of the lead. So we threw that away and unfortunately that that was the end of the game for us. Uh, the South have been labelled predictable. Did you were Oh no, bloke on the back's wrong. He's, he's a bit hard to predict. As you've seen there tonight, he can just do things that no one else can do if um, he gets himself in the right place at the right time. Justin, you played a lot with GI. What do you think of his form of the month? Oh, well, we saw it tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, he's just a world, world class player, and <clears throat> just a shame that he decided to have a freak game tonight. Um, obviously, you know, when he's playing like that, he's the difference in any side. Especially the way he's playing at the moment, he's the number one player in the game, and you know, he showed that tonight. What was it like to be on the other side? What do you think? <laughs> scary, scary. Well, it's not nice, but <clears throat> um, but you know, take nothing away from him. Like I said, he's a world class player, and um, it's just a shame that he had a great, great game tonight. Is it frustrating, Hook, that he said like after what he did in Brisbane with that try? Up there, that he seems to kind of reserve these performances for you guys. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, there's a, at times when you, you get he's one of the greatest players in the game. You know, when he decides to do something, sometimes you know it is. Um, well, you're sitting there and you can't do anything about it. But uh, I mean, the frustrating thing is, uh, you know, we contributed to you know, a lot of the field position and. Uh, you know, a lot of the points have come their way. You know, the, 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 two, the two balls, Daniel Vito got one in defence and one in attack. You know, that, that's 12 points. And, um, you know, if you, if you leave them in range, and, you know, you're, you're always at the mercy of someone like Inglis if he's in that type of mood tonight. The, there's the Ben Barth one as well, and it's happened a number of times this season. Have you ever been able to put your finger on... <coughs> Why you can get over the line, but don't seem to be able to put the ball. No. No, I think it's just you know modern day defence. You know, they, you know <coughs> everyone scrambles really hard. Um, you know, we've had a couple in the last two weeks, but I think if you watch, if you watch every game this weekend, there'll be there'll be one of them in a game. Oh, sorry. Is the season on the line next week? Oh, obviously, yeah, yeah obviously. So. Um, you know, we've got to regroup and get ready for that. How big a build-up will it be of the, the Wayne factor you're playing Newcastle?
So what are you expecting to build up this week? Oh, you blokes will build it up. Um, from our end, we, uh, it's, it's about us, uh, you know, bouncing off that tonight. You know, we're very disappointed with the way that game turned out. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's, it's about us uh, regrouping and, as a football team and, and um, being a lot better than what we were tonight next week. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Yeah.